Hello everyone, this is Sarjeet, your Siemens product specialist. Today, I would like to talk to you about the Siemens ET200 Eco Profinet Master. In my opinion, this is an amazing device, which is both rugged and complex. It can handle vibrations up to 10 Gs and is also IP67 rated. But enough with the catalog information. I'm sure you smart people can figure out all that information on your own. What I wanted to show you is a cool feature available for this IO-Link device. When programming the ET200 Eco in TIA portal, TIA has a unique feature that enables you to use the IO-Link master more efficiently, and that is called AutoSense. Now throughout the course of this video, I will be utilizing just a single software, and that is TIA Portal version 15 with S7PCT added to it. Now what is S7PCT? It stands for Port Configuration Tool. This is a free add-on software that you install on top of TIA. What the PCT gives you is added flexibility in configuring IO link devices. Let me show you how. First, I launch TIA and add the PLC to my project. My project name is AutoSense and the PLC I've added is the 1215C. For IO Link, I've used the ET200 Eco IO Link Master and a SICK DT35 distance sensor. We will now let TIA go out and look for any accessible IO devices. For this, we go to online, scroll down to hardware detection, select IO devices, and search for it. Once the search ends, it has now found ET200 Eco and will add this to our project. Let's check the box and click on add devices. Now we get a confirmation that the detection was successful. We acknowledge OK. Now let me create a Profinet connection from the PLC to the master. And now, going back to a previous point I made, let us now utilize the flexibility offered by PCT. We will start PCT by going into the device configuration. So right click on the device go to device configuration and then right click again and this time we select start device tool we hit start the pct now tries to go online once it's online you can now see the device up on the left we expand on it and select the io link master and now we see four ports available these are four IO link ports. Once here, we will now select the slot at which we intend to detect our device. In this case, it's port one. So what I do is expand in the catalog on the right. And this time I select as a standard device. We get the description as generic. So I do not know what device is connected to port one. We drag this up here and check the box that says AutoSense. We now go to Device and select AutoSense and click on it. The AutoSense now goes and looks at what device is connected to the port. And behold, AutoSense has detected the presence of DT35 at port 1 on our device. Isn't this just amazing? Now I no longer have to look at ports and the corresponding sensors. All I need to do is have the IODD file for all devices and sensors in my library. My library is right on, on the right hand side in the catalog and I let AutoSense detect what sensor is connected at what port. In this case it's the DT35. I select OK. And now here we are. I have the address, I have the ports. Once I have all the devices added, in this case I only had one, 
I would click load with devices and that's it. The loading takes some time, but once it's ended, all we do is go to file and exit. It's asking me if I want to save all the changes to the PLC and I select yes. And here we are. So I just configured my IOLink master with the right sensor connected to it. That's all for this video, friends. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you would like any more information about this product, please reach out to InsightSales at enm.com.